Hello, my name is Jose. I've seen a few videos going around about the new 360 hertz uh, force feedback on the SimiCube. My process has been a little bit different on how to get it enabled into iRacing, so I'm going to go ahead and show you my process. The first thing I had to do was make sure I had the latest version of TrueDrive. So I just did a quick Google search for the latest SimiCube drivers and downloaded the latest version of their software. Once I had the latest version of TrueDrive installed, then what I had to do was go to the info tab and you're going to see here on the right hand side how mine already says uh, found found high torque so i didn't have this originally i couldn't figure out why it wasn't uh, popping up on this side and then also in the ini app file for iRacing i wasn't getting the SimiCube uh, plug in there either so what i ended up having to do was i clicked reset ffv device state this then just I guess reset whatever was in the background of TrueDrive. I then launched up iRacing, launched up a test session, and once the test session was open, uh, I immediately saw this high torque mode on TrueDrive. And then I went into the INI file and I saw the CineCube line item there. So this is the way to make sure that it is active and it's on the latest update that you downloaded. To make sure that you are active running it or if you want to disable it then what you're going to want to do is go over to the INI file. To do that you're going to want to open up your uh, file explorer. You're going to go over to documents, iRacing, scroll down to the app file and then if we just scroll down towards feedback, force feedback, if we just look in between the lines right here load SimiCube API equals to one so if you want to run it, leave it at one. If you want to turn it off, put it to zero. I hope that helped. Remember that we do offer remote sim support. So if there's ever any issue with your simulator, make sure to send us an email or give us a call. We're always here to help you out. See you in the next one.